Romans chapter 8 and verse 2, it says, Because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. We are able to come alive in Christ Jesus. Why are we not walking in this freedom? Why are we not every single day taking a, taking a deep breath in and just enjoying the life that Jesus has given us? You're a new creation in Christ Jesus. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. And now we are able to walk in that freedom. This entire week, the Lord has been ministering to me about the freedom that we have in Him. And He's even said, Anna, why in the world do people walk around bound, defeated, where you, you feel like that you're still in a place of unrest in your spirit? And He said, it's because they need to cling to the truth. You know, we see Mary Magdalene, and she had been set free from seven demons. And here's a woman who truly walked in her freedom. Because the moment she, she was set free, she began to follow Jesus, and become a, she became a true disciple of Him. Here she was at the foot of the cross. Here she was at the tomb. Here she was. She was right there whenever He was resurrected. Think of how beautiful that is. A woman whose life was in agony and despair, and she had been set free and made whole, no longer bound by sin, no longer bound by demonic influences. She clung to the truth and clung to the hope of Jesus Christ. And then she became a true disciple of him. Are you walking in your freedom? Do you know people that are not walking in freedom? You know, if you ask yourself this, or if you ask yourself, do you know people? Yeah, I sure do. And I know there have been times that I've not been walking in the freedom for which God paid the price on Calvary for me. You know, he paid the price on the cross for every heart in this whole world. And here we have this freedom to share, and we need to share it. And here we have this freedom to live, and we need to live it. Because we have been set free. We need to cling to the truth. And then we need to, we need to walk in the Spirit. Because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is what? There is freedom. And then if you know the truth, the truth will what? Set you free. So we need to walk in the Spirit and we need to cling to the truth in every single thing that we do. And know that you have been set free and made whole. Walk in that freedom. You're no longer bound by sin when you're living a life in Christ. Come alive this week. Take a deep breath. Breathe out and enjoy your life in Christ. We're set free. We're made whole. We're living life in, in Jesus. Okay. All right. It's getting crazy. I love you guys. Thank you for joining me this week. We're just going to walk in the freedom for which God has blessed us with. God is so faithful. He loves us so much. And share that freedom with others. All right. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye.